Hey y'all, so oh man, it looks like I cut my hair. Long walks are still here. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina and we do mobile home living in Trailer Park in Tennessee. Y'all see the last video? <laughs> the bedroom is finally done. Y'all, Shane's happiness made that entire video. I was telling a ton of y'all in the comments, like his happiness was contagious. I'm in love with it, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> So the only thing that remains normal during a heavy makeover like that, like a full room makeover, is school. Everything else gone like a fart in the wind. Any bit of structure, any bit of routine, any bit of anything, dishes were piled to the ceiling. Thankfully, Shay and the kids tackled the house on Sunday. They did the dishes. The girls even helped do dishes. They got all the sawdust off of the surfaces of the house. Not in a mama way, but in their way. And I'm grateful for it. I still have a lot of sawdust to tackle. It has been freezing cold. Uh, we have been in the in between snowstorms. I don't really mean snowstorm. I mean like a dust stink of snow. It, to you guys, it's not even snow. It's I'm an over exaggerator. So when I say I go, well, I went walking through the snow. Like in my mind, I'm like, oh. But in reality, like I was basically not even making a footprint because the snow was that thin. <laughs> We ended up just sawing in the house too because it's just more convenient, but I wouldn't suggest it because I had, listen, I had sawdust and crevices, not only in my home, but in my body that I just don't even want to go there. It's already the afternoon, but we still have a ton of stuff to get to. Like I'm talking, we got laundry that is totally out of control. I've got to clear off the table here in the dining room because we're also doing a grocery haul. I didn't meal plan at all. Ashamedly, we ate out almost every night of last week the the bedroom took about three weeks but it was sparse because we could only do it in the evenings and on the weekends and some weekends you just don't feel like doing nothing you just want to relax your family's home everybody's at home you just want to relax so last week was the end stretch the home run of the makeover and we kind of took advantage of that and ate out so i got a meal plan i've got to see what's left in my fridge that hasn't rotten or or disintegrated um over the last couple of weeks so get you let's get the daggone thing done hats on because we're gonna get the daggone thing done first off getting the table cleared for groceries let's go let's go if you want it you can get it let me know as far as this thing goes right here i got it off amazon it's where i stored my books i asked nanny if she wanted it and she never really got back to me so i'm probably just going to see if my neighbor wants it uh, I need to text her real quick or I'll just sit it out there on the curb all my neighbors fight over my stuff that I sit out there anyway <laughs> so somebody will grab it it's always like a free-for-all on my makeover days because they know something's going to be out there and it's going it's like a free garage sale so I'm just going to move this towards the door so when Shane comes he can put it out at the oh is this a tooth am I just finding teeth around here this is a tooth <laughs> there are lots of tooth recently hey Okay, I need to put your name on it. Okay. My bad. I'm just the creeper in the trailer park with all the teeth in her house. Oh, y'all, yeah, look. I'm going to keep this on my bookshelf. You see that? So one of my friends made me. I love it. I'm gonna use these method wipes just to wipe it up, wipe it down. Not that anybody in the trailer part would mind, cause like they know I'm a hot mess express. But if we're gonna give it away or put it at the curb, we at least we at least want it to look good. Also been storing it with all my mail from you guys that I haven't opened yet, which is all of this. And this. And this. So if y'all get a 2021 Christmas card in 2023, I'm sorry.
So I'm not really doing any deep cleaning in this video. I'm trying just to get the house together and in order after being not in order for a couple of weeks. I'm not back on the fly lady yet. Honestly, I've been kind of tweaking the fly lady method to work for me but hey she did say i don't think she meant when she said to get dressed to your shoes i don't think she meant cheetah pajamas and slides but i mean she didn't specify <laughs> so i'm running with it i'm decluttering also though these two books i already had a copy of the one and then that other one i told you guys the chloe get a life chloe brown it, it was just too vile for me i can skip bad scenes in books um if the plot is okay like i'll skip it if it's few and far in between but that was just a, oh nope nope not my cup of tea i'm decluttering those books and i'm also decluttering these curtains and there's some other things i'm decluttering as well by the end of this video i have a pretty large decluttering pile which was not what i was expecting at all i was just i was just planning to like tidy up the house but i got carried away and i'm not mad at it this is what I mean by sawdust covering every inch of the surface. Also, I don't know what to do with this. Ever since I built my island, it does not look right in the living room. But it doesn't look right in here either. And I'm not getting rid of it. It's going somewhere. I just don't know where. Just what I do when I'm out so I decided to pull up my rug and clean really good underneath it because it hadn't had a good cleaning like my hardwood floor underneath the rug hadn't had a good cleaning in a while but then since I don't know what to do with that corner table back there the one that I redone that means so much to me it has so much sentimental value to me I'm not getting rid of it I don't care if it sticks out like a sore thumb I'm not getting rid of that table it means too much to me but just because I had nowhere else to put it and I stuck it back in this area I thought maybe if I turned around my rug here in a minute and and put my table another way look at all that said sawdust y'all like that's unnecessary <laughs> that's unnecessary i thought that uh, if i did that and i turned around the rug and i put my table the opposite way that it might look better in that area and i think it does i move my table around every few months i get tired i'm here 24 7 i get tired of seeing the table in the same way <laughs> all the time so every few months y'all will see me i move my table horizontal and then i'll move it back vertical and then i move it back horizontal it's the change for me i don't like change in a lot of different areas but the placement of my kitchen table is one i don't mind it in i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes Say something meaningful, say something I don't know, I wanna know you better, the way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel, I don't know if you're I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight Okay, so I've just dampened my mop head here. Well, actually, that's pretty sopping wet. Um, did you hear that flop? Yeah, I wet my mop cloth. I'm gonna use it like a cloth in my hand and do a spray mop because I don't really like the mop that this attaches to. I need to get an O-Cedar mop. Y'all remember my last O-Cedar mop? Binks chewed it up. Let's have a moment of silence for Cedar, the Cedar mop. I still hold a grudge at Binks for that. Please forgive me, but. I'm gonna use this method antibacterial spray because sawdust 
I don't say salt test is bacteria. But I mean, if it removes bacteria, it ought to remove any residue of sawdust. I'm gonna use it in the wildflower scent. Y'all know I love every single method product, every single one, but this antibacterial spray will take you out. <laughs> it's so strong, and I guess that's it has to be to be antibacterial, but holy moly, you have to be careful when using this. My kids tidy up sometimes in their areas. I won't let them use this spray because it is that strong. I, I'm the only one that uses that spray in this house because I do not, I, I don't trust it on the lungs. got that piece of play-doh off with it that's been there for like two years hey yes Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night I look like a cheetah on the prowl right now <laughs> my lungs give out your beautiful I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me. Love it when we touch. I know you guys love the grocery hauls from Shane, so one will be coming up here in a minute. A little bit of it is a little blurry. It's not too bad. It's just not totally focused, but I noticed it soon after he started. I think he got like probably a third of the way through, and we fixed it. It's not too bad. You can still see the stuff, so it didn't really affect the video in my opinion, so I went ahead and left it in there because I know y'all would be mad if I left the Shane segment out. <laughs> Hey guys, you just caught me just enjoying the uh, awesome bedroom that we just did a makeover in. But I tell you, the one thing that I might enjoy a little bit more than that is grocery haul time. Let's do this. So here is the grocery haul. As you can see, we've got a lot going on here this time. We've got a lot more snacks than usual this time. But that's because we were running really low, but we tried to balance it out with a lot of healthy stuff. Uh, trying to, you know, that's what I'm looking for. You killed it with your chocolate pretzels Ta -ding. I'm getting into the grocery haul because I'm starving <laughs> she's getting into the grocery haul spirit and without further ado, I don't even know where to begin with this this is a lot you know what we're gonna start down here but hurry for it, dethals or defrost. so right here we got some water you know us digging that water these days we got some wipes we got some puppy pads for you know the two little stink dogs we got we got some paper towels here we got a pack of paper plates these things come in handy as you know who likes doing dishes when you're busy rena got some wax melt salted coconut and mahogany let's see how this smells real quick okay i'm down for that and then we also got this this almost broke my foot it got salted <laughs> sea spray <laughs> okay i don't know how i feel about that one i didn't smell it Let me smell. this one smells just very rich and creamy and this one smells like a hotel at the beach's bathroom bathroom that does smell like somebody turned it and they're trying to cover it up with windex it smells like somebody went to use the bathroom at a beach house and they didn't have no Room spray or what's the what's that poop tube? Poop tube. I don't know. Spray. <laughs> I've never heard of that. So they just spray Windex everywhere. Um, <laughs> you shop at the different stores than I do. Then I've never poop heard of tube. poop tube. We got two big old jugs of apple juice. 
We've got three packs of this Splash Blast pineapple. Oh, they're different flavors. We got pineapple, mango, we got lemon, and mandarin orange. Rena got these Skittles. <laughs> we got some Tootsie Fruit Chew. Hey, this sounds like your poop toot. <laughs> Tootsie Fruit Chews. We got some vanilla yogurt raisins. Oh, Rena loves these things. Mm -hmm. You haven't eaten these in a long time. We got Gushers. I love these things. I don't know if any of y'all do this, but one of the best things you can do is take a whole pack and you just dump it in your mouth. I don't know. It's just good. We got some peanut butter Ritz crackers. They're the mini ones. We got some regular Ritz crackers. We got a pack of Huit Thins. We got some pretzel mini twists. Then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna we're gonna shift some perspectives because we got a lot going on over here. We got some more of these cereal bars. So we got some Lucky Charms. We got Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The kids really like the Fruit Loop ones. Yeah, just... they did. And Cocoa Puffs. Oh, and then we also got. Oh, these are like packs of cereal. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So we got some Fruit Loop packs. Jumbo snacks. That's neat. This kind of right, makes me think of whenever I was in elementary school. You remember they used to have the little cereal things? It makes me think of those banging uh, Fruit Loop donuts from Hardee's. Remember when I got those? Yeah, I forgot oh, you used to get those. They got rid of them fast, too. Yeah. Man. I think you're the only person that ate them. <laughs> we got some Fruity Pebbles. Apple Jacks. This is one of my most favorite cereals. We got some Honey Smacks. I haven't seen Honey Smacks in years. We got two packs of the Lucky Charm. Listen, we got two things of Lucky Charms because one of these is mine. The kids can't have it. You know what? I don't know who you think you are coming in and just shoving your presents into well, my if grocery you did your job, I wouldn't have to do it I'm for doing you. my job, Mariana. Everybody in the comments call her Mariana. Anyway, <laughs> we got a pack of Doritos. Raina got her Takis. I don't see how she eats these things. The neighborhood kids got me eating them. Yep, they did. We got... Oh, we got the fun pack! We got two things of butter bread. This stuff is amazing, is it not? Mm -hmm. Love it. We got a double pack of 18 eggs. So that's, what, 36 eggs in total? So we got 36 eggs. We've got three packs of Nutella. Nutella. We got a whole thing of Skittles and Starbursts. The funny thing is, Rena bought this just so she could have the Sour Skittles. That was the only way to get them. Yeah, but I think that there's a shortage in Sour Skittles because I can't find anywhere else. But I figured we could use the rest of that as incentive throughout Turns out the next they... two weeks uh, for like the kiddos and their chores and stuff, which my kiddos don't get rewards for doing chores because we just do chores. But if they do something extra or kind, or like they're kind to a they get kid one or skittle. something, they do not get one skittle, <laughs> they get a pack of skittles. Yeah. It could also be that it's just discontinued and this is the only way I to get cry. like one of the last remaining ones. They You're going to look at the scared. expiration date and it's going to be November 2021. <laughs> okay, we got three packs of this smoothie low-fat yogurt. Um, one pack decided that it just wanted to be free, so it let all the little ones... It's not focusing. Tell them what just happened. Okay, so I'm not the most well-versed when it comes to camera. Um, Rena obviously knows everything. It's, it's so focused Rena now. Rena knows everything. Yeah, about cameras. The, rest, the other part of the, gro <laughs> the grocery haul wasn't focused. So anyway, uh, we had some technical difficulties trying to get this thing focused. If there was a few things unfocused, that's my bad. I apologize. We got a pack, uh, or a pack. We got a gallon of 2% milk and a gallon of 1% chocolate milk. Kiddos love chocolate milk. We got some Velveeta macaroni. This is the bomb.com, my most favorite macaroni of all time. We got two packs of buttermilk biscuits. We got a big old thing of tortilla chips. We got some bagel bites. Have I ever told them how good these things are with mustard? They're not good with mustard. They are great with mustard. Dip it in mustard. Find out. We got some 
Tostino's pizza. Is that good mustard? I don't know. I've never had the Tostino's pizza with mustard. Okay, we've got a milkshake because it's stalled. Hagen Dazs strawberry ice cream. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Is it German? And then we got some Hagen Dazs butter, butter pecan. All right, we got some Philadelphia original. What is this? Cream cheese? Mm -hmm. Oh, you found cream cheese? Mm -hmm. That's a find. We got two packs of that. And then. Okay, I can tell when you're on a kick, I'm going to have to perform an intervention, am I not? I was really on Skittles last night. I can tell. We got two packs of mini cucumbers. See if those are rotten, because they're leaving out some very residue. What? Rotten? Yeah. One has been busted. Oh, that's what it, yeah, it's leaving out. Yeah, they got look at that rotten. busted one in there. That's a pickle. <laughs> that cucumber has found itself in a pickle. <laughs> Got us um, SpongeBob's house again. <laughs> we got a little pack of mini, mini. Are these oranges or tangerines? I never halos. know. They're halos. We got a pack of apples. We've got lemons here, along with a pack of sausages. We got some popcorn chicken, and then we also got stuffed crust pepperoni pizza, along with rising crust pepperoni pizza. We got some French bread. What is this for? I, I, I haven't thought that through yet. Okay. We just got some French bread just for the heck of it. We got some garlic French bread. Oh, we got two packs of Caesar salad. We've been salading it up here lately, haven't we? Oh, and we got this. This. Hold on. Hold on. Shh. shh listen. Who's right. there? <laughs> it's right. If somebody answered, we, <laughs> I'm throwing it out. <laughs> We got two boxes of uh, garlic breadsticks. Then down here, we got some instant mashed taters. Hashtag tater. Oh my gosh. You forgot the taters. What do you have to say for yourself? We have two different types of taters down there. Bruh. But you bought the fake taters? <laughs> it's easier taters. What? Okay, I'll I'll let it slide this time. Okay. Anyway, we got some biscuit mix. Oh, we gonna make some homemade biscuits. That's not homemade. <laughs> they are gonna have a fit because you said that was homemade. We got some garlic parmesan seasoning mix. We got a bottle of ranch. Got a bottle of Olive Garden Italian dressing. We got some ketchup. We got a little bear. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We've got some buffalo wild wings, Parmesan garlic with Italian and, herbs. And that stuff is a bomb. Yeah. We, we need to. We make that with pasta. You need it to go so to good. Buffalo Wild Wings. I've never been in a Buffalo Wild Wings. Really? <laughs> We've got some Prego meat sauce. We've got four boxes of skets. One box of Garden Rotini, oh actually three got boxes of Garden Rotini. And finally, we've got some hamburger meat and, oh I'm about to lose stuff. What kind of chicken is this? Chicken tenders. Oh, and then chicken tenders. So long, farewell. farewell. Wait, do the, do oh, the out of the box. So long, farewell. To you, my friends. Goodbye for now. I was singing a sound. Until we meet again, I say goodbye for now. Or they do something. What was Until that? Until we meet again. Out of the box. I remember out of the box. Uh, see, I can't close it because of you. Out of the box. Out of the box. <laughs> I remember a face from uh, Nick Jr. Yeah, I remember that too. Alright, close it. Alright, anyway. Peace out. I don't know what this was. <laughs> the meal plan for this week. Spaghetti. Chicken croissants. Um, Olive Garden pasta. Um, the Buffalo Wild Wings Parmesan pasta. Both of those go in the crock pot and I absolutely love them. They're so good. Crock pot time in Tennessee. Uh, crock pot time in Tennessee, baby. 
pizza one night. And then we're gonna do shake and bake tenders. So we're using that par garlic parmesan crust on the chicken tenders we got. And we'll do that with like some mac and cheese and green beans and stuff like that. It's a meal plan for this week. So everything is put away that can be put away. Uh, I'm going to clean this off because it's atrocious. <laughs> I'm going to clean this off and wipe it down real good because it hasn't had a good wipe down in a while, little while. And then I'm going to get all this stuff in here. Okay, so I started dinner. I'm just making spaghetti tonight. I put peppers and onions in my spaghetti. It's actually Shane's mom recipe. He's been having me cook it this way our entire marriage. I also popped some Worcestershire sauce in there and some seasonings. And then I cook it up and then I add the Prego meat sauce. I add a little bit to a medium bit of sugar and mix it all up and let it simmer for a little while. That's how we eat our spaghetti. I'm gonna make that real quick and then we're gonna eat and then I gotta get back on it, dog on it, because, because the groceries got me so behind. Um, I, I was on a roll until the groceries came and then I got off the roll and now I gotta get back on it. Feels like time is going faster than it seems. We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream. We could see no reason, but we should ever try to go to sleep. Growing up. 
up, said we'd be on forever. You taught me how to love, and nothing could be better than you and me. You I really hope none of that just got in our spaghetti. You what? I really hope none of that got in our spaghetti. What is it? I was just spraying the spray over here. I'm gonna drain it just in case we put more in there. Was it the noodles? Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just spraying that stuff everywhere all over the spaghetti. So now. I had to get a new pot of spaghetti noodles gone. It's been a day. Yes, ma'am. It smells like method. <laughs> it's not like method. <laughs> it's 7.30. I haven't got dinner made. I've only got the dining room clean. Like, it, I'm struggling to say. Lord, thank you for two extra. I don't even know why I bought two extra sets of noodles. That's why. I literally bought four sets of noodles. I don't Jesus know why. Jesus was like, that girl's gonna need some more noodles. <laughs> Jesus was like, you're gonna need more noodles right now. Said we'd be on forever. You taught me how to love, and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby. It was you and me. We can never fall, but nobody can break us. Yeah, I thought we had it all. Take me back to when it was. So I didn't notice this till just now, but we're gonna have to run all of this in the dishwasher because it's covered in sawdust. Never again. My I've bad. already laid the rules. No more solving in the house. My bad. Bon appetit! It's dinner time! So this is what's been in my cleaning caddy. I try to show you guys this every so often, just so you know, like the stuff that I'm using. I'm using this Anna back, Anna back. <laughs> Sounds like Annabelle's last wish. <laughs> that Christmas movie about the cow. Uh, I'm using this in the scent Wildflower for like surfaces. Also using these lavender vanilla method all purpose cleaning wipes. Got the Dawn power wash. The Y man, y'all taught me the correct way to say that because I was calling it Wee Man. <laughs> Wyman spray. <laughs> Wyman spray for the stainless steel. One of you guys told me to order this and my Walmart was out of it, so I ordered it off of like Walmart.com and had it shipped to me. I'm excited to try it. Because today is just kind of like a day in the life. Get everything done with me, like tidy up after that big makeover. But I really do need to do a deep clean behind furniture and in the couch and stuff. So that'll be coming up this week and I'm going to use this and try it out for you. And then I also use this for my laminate floors. It's, I got this from Lowe's. Spray Away has taken the place for now of my Dollar General Windex. Just until that's done and then I'll go back to my Dollar General Windex probably. I got some OxyClean for stains on the carpet and stuff. And then I got this, which is my favorite air freshener. It's the Febreze Fabric Wood. I got this at Ollie's for super cheap. I love it. That is what's going on in the caddy right now. All of this is going in my stockpile, which is really not a stockpile. It's just the cubby hole in my closet that gets all my extra cleaning stuff in case I run out of anything else. All these, see my Dollar General window cleaner. All this is going in that stock cabinet area. Shane's doing the dishes for me from dinner tonight, which is such a blessing because I still have a lot to do. I have to gather up the pile and get everything together that I'm decluttering. I gotta get this massive stain in the carpet. This stain happened while we were doing the better makeover and we kinda just half butt 
tried to get it up. I'm going to try my carpet cleaner out on it and put some alcohol in my carpet cleaner. One of y'all taught me that months ago and it has been such a blessing to like use that alcohol. I put alcohol and Dawn dish soap in hot water and it works really good. It brings up stains. It brought up a Sharpie stain so it works. But I want to get that rug really clean because I got a new rug for Colton and Cammie's bedroom makeover that's coming up. Kind of slowly gathering all the things in it. I went over my budget for the bedroom and had to pull from the boys bedroom envelope to finish off our bedroom. So I've got to save up a little bit more before I can start that one. But I went ahead and picked up a rug at Ross and I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm like man I could really use it in the living room and I'm obsessed with it. Like I love it. So if I do use that one then my one from Lowe's that's in the living room right now I'm going to put in the boys room. Whichever one I don't end up using in the living room I can use in the boys room because it's kind of the same color uh, scheme. So I don't know though. I'm really, you know, let me show you. I, I really love this rug. You ever just find those pieces of like home improvements like home decor rug, throws, uh, decor pillow case cover cases that kind of thing and then it just brings you so much happiness you're like I gotta have that in a main living area in my home I really want to put it down in my living room I absolutely love it I got it from Ross y'all I used to get my rugs from Ross all the time the one that's in my dining room I got from boutique rugs that's a that's a question I often get is where did I get that one from boutique rugs.com and then the one here in the living room is the first ever rug that I bought that was not a hand-me-down or was not Ross I got this one from Lowe's um, and it's been a good one and the stains like it had stains really well but this this big stain somebody spilled their drink and it's a stain so I'm gonna try to get it out if not I can maneuver it to where we won't be able to see the stain either in the living room or in the boys bedroom whichever one I decide to put it in I need to get all my clutter put together that I'm decluttering so I can see the pile I got and then I gotta finish tidying up the house Okay, so me and Binks just came in from outside and it was super cool, wasn't it, Binksy? This is all that's going. This is my declutter pile. Shane, I can see you in the mirror. Shane's itching for us to go to the room. He wants to go play his games. No, I just want to <laughs> chill in my, in my neon glow. This is the declutter giveaway throwaway pile. Not too shabby for just a simple day in the life cleaning video. It was a Saturday night Remember seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd There was something about you cause you got stuck in my mind Stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind I thought I'd give it a go and I started talking to you I don't know what I said but the next thing I knew Is that I held you in my arms and you asked what we should do What should we do, what should we do I said you can do what you want to with me Yeah I won't mind as long as you stay with me, I'm alright. I wanna hold ya. I wanna hold ya. Hey. 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 Hey
I love it. So that one will probably go, unless I change my mind, which I don't think I will, because I'm, I'm in love with this. It brings me so much happiness. If I don't change my mind, then that one will be going to Colt and Cammie's room. I haven't mopped, but I'm gonna do that in my deep cleaning that I'll be doing soon. But y'all, I love that rug. <gasps> Got it from Ross. Heck yes. And it's like fluffy. You stay with me, I'm R.I.E. I wanna hold ya. So the house is clean despite the stuff that they're taking to Nana's there. The house is clean and it's looking good. So good. We do have a few dishes from breakfast in the sink, but I'm not complaining. Heck yeah. Say thank y'all for hanging out with us. <laughs> I hope you guys have a blessed morning, even if not, whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but she just loves you more. Get up and get the daggone thing done. I didn't want to, but I'm so glad I did. See y'all later.